The Bhutan national football team represents Bhutan in international men's football. The team is controlled by the governing body for football in Bhutan, the Bhutan Football Federation, which is a member of the Asian Football Federation and the regional body the South Asian Football Federation The team play their home games at the national stadium, Changlamathang. The side have consistently been ranked as the worst, or one of the worst national teams in the world on both the official FIFA rankings and the ELO rating system. As of the end of November 2017 they have won only six competitive fixtures against other international teams and have a goal difference of minus 279 in official matches. The team have never qualified for the finals of a major tournament and beyond friendlies and qualifying matches, their only official competition has been in the regional South Asian Games and the South Asian Football Federation Cup. They are one of the younger national teams in the world having played their first official match in 1982 in the ANFA Cup. Prior to this, a nominal representative team consisting mainly of imported players from India competed in a number of regional tournaments. Throughout the 1980s Bataan's appearances on the international scene were restricted to the South Asian Games where they lost every game they played that decade having to wait until 1987 to score their first goal outside the ANFA Cup. Through the 1990s they made only one international appearance, again at the South Asian Games in 1999 and again losing all their matches. Their first continental appearance occurred the following year when they travelled to Kuwait to take part in qualifying for the 2000 AFC Asian Cup. Their qualifying performance was not positive and they headed home with their losing streak now sat at 16 games and their performance in Kuwait including a then world record 20-0 defeat to the hosts. Following a 17th straight defeat to Bangladesh the next year, Bhutan recorded their first ever win in 2002, just over 20 years since their debut on the international stage, a victory over Montserrat in a game organized by a Dutch advertising agency, sanctioned by FIFA to coincide with the 2002 FIFA World Cup final and itself known as the other final. They were unable to build on this victory though and a further five straight defeats followed before their next win, a 6-0 defeat of Guam in 2004 AFC Asian Cup qualification. This result coupled with a 0-0 draw with Mongolia was to be their most successful set of official results. However, Bhutan had lost a record 13 games with two draws. Bhutan reached the semi-finals of the 2008 SAF Championship, missing out on their first ever final losing in the last minute of extra time to India. This would prove to be a high point for Bhutanese football as they embarked on a run of 19 straight defeats over the following five years. However, on 12 March 2015 Bhutan won their first World Cup qualifying tie at the first time of asking, beating Sri Lanka 1-0 in Colombo, with the winning goal scored by Tisharing Dorji in the 84th minute. A week later, they earned another victory against Sri Lanka 2-1 in Tempu, securing the qualification to the second round with an aggregate score of 3-1. This was to be their only success in this qualifying tournament however, as they lost all of their subsequent group games, and their only victory until they beat Bangladesh in the 2019 AFC Asian Cup qualification, playoff round, snapping a 16-match winless streak. History Beginnings In the same way that there is uncertainty around the manner in which football as a sport in general came to be, so there is equal uncertainty around how the game was ultimately brought to Bhutan. During the colonial period in Bhutan, although it had signed treaties with the government of India which ceded control of its defence and foreign relations to the British, continued to function as an independent state and was never under the direct rule of the British government in India. Whereas Indians were introduced to football by the British government, the lack of a permanent British presence in Bhutan meant that foreign sports were not played there. The arrival of football in Bhutan was very closely linked with the opening of schools in Ha and Paro in the 1950s, as foreign teachers, mainly from India but some from Europe, were recruited. The Bhutan Football Federation note that in the beginning there was little in the way of formal facilities or equipment and the game was played on stone-covered pitches with a ball made from a bundle of clothes. 
The game continued to grow as more Bhutanese went abroad, mainly to India, to study and helped increase the popularity of the sport upon their return, though the game was still considered to be just that and was not really developed during this period. The main centres for football during the 1960s were Funtsholing and Samtsi, close to the border with India, where hastily arranged teams would travel back and forth over the border to play neighbouring tea gardens. In 1968, a team nominally representing Bhutan, but essentially consisting of foreign players travelled to Calcutta to compete in the Indian Independence Cup. Over time football gradually increased in popularity until it was seen as an essential part of the school curriculum, with numerous school tournaments established within Tempu. Teams used to travel from all over the country to take part, some coming from as far away as calling. However, regardless of the popularity of the game amongst the Bhutanese, the notion of a Bhutan national team, consisting almost entirely of foreigners persisted for some time, and this team would regularly travel abroad to take part in international competitions such as the Antha Cup, with a team consisting of around 60% Indian players. These Indian players were brought to Bhutan and given jobs within the civil service, although essentially their role was to play football. In the late 1970s and early 1980, as well as playing several matches in Bhutan, the representative team, known as Druk 11, also played a number of games outside the country in Nepal and India, against representative teams such as the Food Corporation of India. At that time, eight out of the eleven members of the team were from India. Such a situation could not last however, and in time these players either retired or returned to their home country creating a vacuum of talent which would seriously affect the national team in the years to come. Topic 1980s Given that international competition had been taking place since 1872, Bataan's official entry into the international arena was comparatively late, playing their first match only in 1982, a 3–1 loss to Nepal in the 1982 Anfa Cup. However, it should be noted that other sources also indicate that a team representing Bhutan travelled to Nepal eight years earlier and won a tournament known as the Shripanch Mahendra Gold Cup, though it is not clear the extent to which this was a true international tournament or whether they were competing against club teams. They also played a representative team from China's Kunming Army Unit in the competition, also losing 3-1. Unfortunately, the scorers for Bhutan are not recorded, so it is unknown who scored Bhutan's first international goal. Bhutan's involvement in the Anfa Cup came some seven years before the inauguration of their own league competition. Again however, sources are contradictory with some indicating that a tournament that at least shared the name, a league was established in Tempu sometime around the beginning of the 1980s. Despite the at best fledgling nature of their domestic competition at that time, Bhutan continued to put out a side, this time in the South Asian Games. They entered the first games in 1984, but lost all three of their games 2 0 to Bangladesh, 5 0 to hosts and eventual winners Nepal, and 1 0 to the Maldives to finish last out of the four competing teams. It is unclear whether a playoff for third place was held between Bhutan and the Maldives. If it was, then the result is not known. Either way, the bronze medal was awarded to the Maldives. Undeterred, Bhutan sent a team to the following year's competition in Bangladesh. Results went the same way as the prior year's tournament. Bhutan were drawn in Group B of the competition along with India and Nepal. They lost their first match narrowly, 1–0 to Nepal and were beaten 3–0 by eventual champions India to ensure that they finished bottom of the group and did not progress. The national team did not play any fixtures for the next two years as the South Asian Games moved to become a biennial competition, though they again sent a team to the third edition of the Games in Kolkata, India. Drawn in Group B again, this time with Nepal and Bangladesh, history repeated itself, as Bhutan lost first to Bangladesh 3-0, with Badal Das, Kaiser Hamid and Ahmed Ali scoring for Bangladesh, and then 6-2 to Nepal. Whilst their two goals ended a five-year, six-game scoring drought, they were thoroughly outclassed as Ganesh Tapa scored five times for Nepal. 1990s.
Despite establishing the first recorded football league in Bhutan in 1986, and while the Bhutan Football Federation was admitted as member of the AFC in 1994, the national team did not compete in any matches following their defeat to Nepal in the South Asian Games until 1999, missing four editions of the Games, returning only in 1999. Their absence from the international arena had not seen an improvement in the standard of their football, even though there had been a national championship established in the country for the previous four seasons. Their first game against hosts Nepal ended in a resounding 7-0 defeat. The team found themselves 3-0 down within the first 20 minutes as Hari Kadka scored in the first and fifth minutes, with Naresh Joshi extending the lead after 18. Bhutan were able to keep Nepal at bay for the rest of the half, but conceded two more either side of the hour mark courtesy of Deepak Amatya and Rajan Rayamaji before a brace from Basanda Tapa sealed an emphatic victory for Nepal. They performed better defensively in their next match, but still lost 3-0 to India, Vijayam Amivalapil scoring all three goals for India. Out of the competition, Bhutan faced a dead rubber against Pakistan, who were also eliminate prior to the fixture following losses to India and Nepal. With nothing to play for, they produced their best performance of the tournament. Dinesh Chetri opened the scoring for Bhutan in the 21st minute, the first time they had led a game in their history, only to see a potential victory disappear following two second-half goals for Pakistan from Harun Yusuf. Topic: 2000-2001 At the turn of the century, having spent the best part of the last two decades competing only against teams within South Asia, Bhutan made their first foray into international football at a continental level, competing in the qualification rounds for the 2000 AFC Asian Cup. This tournament was to be one of the lowest points in the history of the admittedly hastily assembled national team. An opening 3-0 loss to Nepal was perhaps not surprising, with Bhutan never having gained any form of positive result against their Himalayan neighbours, and at this point in time having scored against them only once in the Anfa Cup back in 1982. Four days later they faced Kuwait and were beaten 20-0. Seven of the ten Kuwaiti outfield players got their names on the scoresheet that day, including Bashar Abdullah who scored eight and Jassem al Hawaidi who scored five. Bhutan were seriously hampered in this game by their years in the footballing wilderness, but did not help themselves in the match conceding four penalties in total for what were described as rugby-like challenges, and having two players sent off. This defeat was a world record international defeat, though this most undesirable of records was only held for 14 months when Australia beat Tonga 22-0. As of 2016 this remains their worst ever result. Further heavy defeats were to follow, an 8-0 loss to Turkmenistan was followed by an 11-2 defeat to Yemen. Following this qualifying tournament, having been established in 1983, the Bhutan Football Federation was admitted as the 204th member of FIFA. 2000-2001 Their defeats in 2000 in AFC Cup qualifying had left Bhutan ranked as the world's second worst national team with 13 points in the official FIFA rankings, sandwiched between American Samoa above and Montserrat below. At this time, following the Netherlands' failure to qualify for the 2002 FIFA World Cup, two Dutch ad agency partners, Johan Kramer and Matthijs de Jong, not having their home team to cheer on pondered who the worst team in the world might be. With Bhutan and Montserrat so close to each other at the bottom of the FIFA rankings, they set out to arrange a match between the two nations. Montserrat, their only pitch having been destroyed by one of the island nation's seven active volcanoes, agreed to the match and travelled to Bhutan for the game, held at Changelamithang a few hours before the actual World Cup final, a match authorised by FIFA. The game started strongly for Montserrat and Bhutan struggled to contain them during early exchanges. However, initial nerves were settled after five minutes when Wangay Dorji headed a goal to give Bhutan the lead. This gave them the momentum to press on, but their finishing was lax and they were unable to convert the chances they created. Montserrat were able to keep Bhutan at bay for the rest of the half and the game remained at 1-0 until well past the hour mark when English referee Steve Bennett awarded Bhutan a free kick. Dorji stepped up and scored his second of the game. 
The momentum remained with Bhutan and veteran striker Dinesh Chetri scored a third before Dorji took full advantage of a tiring Montserratian team to complete his hat trick and seal a 4 0 victory, Bhutan's first victory on the international stage against any opposition, indeed their first ever result of any kind and the first time they had ever kept a clean sheet. Topic 2003 to 2005. However, despite this memorable victory, Bhutan were unable to carry this form forward into competitive matches. Although the Bhutan Football Federation now received substantial payments as a member of FIFA, there was still very little money in the game for players, even those who played for the national team. Players who were unemployed outside football had to exist on a stipend from the federation of only new 3 to 5,500 per month and there were no internationally certified coaches in the country at all, only amateurs and school teachers. It is no surprise then that Bhutan were defeated in all three games in the 2003 South Asian Football Federation Gold Cup, losing 6-0 to the Maldives, 2-0 to Nepal and 3-0 to hosts Bangladesh, returning home bottom of their group without scoring a single goal. They took advantage though in their next set of matches as they hosted Group F of the preliminary qualifying round for the 2004 AFC Asian Cup. Drawn with Guam and Mongolia, two teams ranked much closer to them than the majority of their previous opposition, they began their campaign with a 6-0 victory over Guam a result that as of 2016 is still their record victory and followed it up with a 0-0 draw against Mongolia to top their group and progress to the qualifying round proper. The victory over Guam was their biggest ever margin of victory to date and the two games undefeated in this group represents Bataan's best run of form to date as of 2014. In the next stage though they were drawn against much stronger opposition in the shape of Saudi Arabia, Indonesia and Yemen. Faced with this increase in quality, Bhutan were outclassed in all six of their qualifying games, losing all of them and again failing to score a single goal in the process. Their losing run continued into the 2005 South Asian Football Federation Gold Cup, where yet again they were to return home winless, losing 3-0 to Bangladesh and India respectively and 3-1 to Nepal, Bikish Pradhan scoring their only goal of the tournament, a consolation goal with Nepal already 3-0 up in what was a dead rubber for both sides. Topic 2006 to 2010. The next three years saw something of an improvement in results for Bhutan. Entering the inaugural AFC Challenge Cup, they suffered narrow defeats to Nepal 2-0 and Sri Lanka 1-0, before holding Brunei to a 0-0 draw. Although they failed to score and did not progress to the main competition, the draw against Brunei was their first positive result of any kind for nearly three years following a similar 0-0 draw with Mongolia and ended an 11-match losing streak. They did not play any international matches for the next two years, appearing again on the continental stage in the 2008 AFC Challenge Cup. Their performance was similar to the previous Challenge Cup, opening with a 3-1 loss to Tajikistan, passing Tshering scoring for Bhutan after 69 minutes, only for the Tajiks to seal the victory from the penalty spot in the dying minutes through Numanjan Hakamov. Bhutan achieved a better result in the next game, drawing 1-1 with Brunei. Nawang Denhup gave Bhutan the initial advantage, a lead which they held until the 76th minute when Karun Bin Sala equalized. Although a 3-0 loss to the Philippines in their final group game confirmed that again Bhutan would not be progressing to the competition proper. However, the two goals they scored and the draw achieved, meant that they finished in third place in the group above Brunei. Bhutan built on the positive results they had gained from the previous two tournaments when they took part in the 2008 SAF Championship. A late Nima Sangay goal was sufficient to give them a share of the points in their opening game against Bangladesh. They could not repeat the performance against the host Sri Lanka in their next game, losing 2-0, but recovered in their final game to record a 3-1 victory over Afghanistan, Yeshi Gilchin scoring twice and his namesake Yeshi Dorji getting the third before H.A. Habib scored a consolation for the Afghans. Sri Lanka beat Bangladesh in the other final group game to ensure that Bhutan finished as runners-up in the group and qualified for the knockout rounds of a tournament for the first time in their history. They met India in the semi-finals and took the lead through Kinley Dorji after 18 minutes. It was a lead they would hold for less than 15 minutes though as Sunil Chetri equalised before half-time. 
With no further goals in the second half, the game went to extra time only for Bhutan to see the possibility of victory snatched from them at the very last moment as Goramangi Singh scored in added time at the end of extra time to claim the narrowest of victories for India. Nonetheless, the semi-final appearance is Bhutan's best performance in any tournament as of 2016. Unfortunately, they were again not been able to build on these positive performances. Their loss to India was the start of the longest losing streak in their history, which was ultimately to last for 19 games. The 2010 AFC Challenge Cup qualifying competition began with a narrow 1-0 loss to the Philippines, but quickly worsened as Bhutan lost 7-0 to Turkmenistan and 5-0 to the Maldives to return home yet again without a point or scoring. A passing T-sharing goal was of little consolation as a 2-1 friendly loss to Nepal failed to end the streak, before a similarly poor 2009 SAF Championship saw them lose 4-1 to Bangladesh, 6-0 to Sri Lanka and 7-0 to Pakistan. Pakistan, a Nawang Dendhup penalty against Bangladesh being their only reward in all three games. Topic: 2011 to present day. Bhutan withdrew from the international stage for the next two years, re-emerging to play two back-to-back -back friendly matches against Nepal in preparation for the 2012 AFC Challenge Cup. Both of these games resulted in narrow losses, 1–0 and 2–1. Their 2012 AFC Challenge Cup qualification was essentially over before it started. Rather than being drawn in a group for initial qualification, the process was changed so that the lowest-ranked eight teams entering the competition played off over two legs on a home and away basis. Bhutan perhaps suffered from the fact that neither leg was played in Bhutan, with both matches taking place at the Tau Devi Lal Stadium, Gurgaon, India, but nonetheless, a hat-trick from Siddiq Walazada in the first leg to give Afghanistan a 3-0 lead, made the second leg, which Afghanistan won 2-0, essentially irrelevant. A disappointing year was compounded with three successive defeats in the 2011 SAF Championship, Bhutan losing 3-0 to Sri Lanka, 5-0 to India and finally 8-1 to Afghanistan, Chenko Giltshen's consolation being the only positive from the year's competition. The team played only one match in 2012, a 5-0 loss friendly to Thailand, prior to the 2013 SAF Championship. This tournament produced an almost identical result to the previous SAF championship. Bhutan opened the competition losing 3 to 0 to Afghanistan, then 8 to 2 to the Maldives despite being 2 to 1 up at one point and level going into half time before rounding off another miserable year with a 5 to 2 loss to Sri Lanka. One of the main reasons suggested for Bhutan's significant drop in form was the amount of money available to players, even those who played for the national team. Yeshi Dorji, one of the country's leading players, announced his retirement following the 2013 SAF Championships, citing an inability to generate a sufficient living from football as the main reason. In 2014, the Bhutan Football Federation withdrew the new 4,000 monthly payment to players in the national team, and whilst money is spent at grassroots, more needs to be spent on the national team as former national head coach Kazunori Ohara noted, once players get to the end of school age they often drop out of football completely. <laughs> 2018 World Cup qualification In 2015, Bhutan made their first ever attempt to qualify for the FIFA World Cup entering the qualifiers for the 2018 edition. In preparation for their qualifying campaign, and in an attempt to improve the overall standard of football in the country and attract more players, the Bhutan Football Federation offered a monthly salary of ing 10,000 to all players in the main national squad who are not currently on federation scholarships. In their first ever qualifying match, they faced Sri Lanka in the two-legged preliminary round. In the first leg in Colombo, Bhutan produced a shock result, beating their hosts 1-0, with T-Sharing Dorji scoring the winner in the 84th minute. This result even drew praise from now-disgraced FIFA president Sepp Blatter who described the result as a wonderful, historic moment. On Twitter, though Sri Lanka coach Nikola Kavazovic, whilst conceding Bhutan were the better team remained confident that his team would ultimately be victorious. The result was met very positively in Bhutan, with the team featuring heavily in the news. Anticipation ahead of the second leg at Changlamathang ran high, a half-day holiday was declared by the government for students and public sector employees and the gates to the ground were opened four hours prior to kick-off. 
The game started positively for Bhutan as Chenko Gilchin, the country's only professional footballer, scored in the sixth minute. However, Sri Lanka equalised before half-time through Subhash Madhushan. A disallowed goal for each side increased the tension as the game progressed but in injury time at the end of the second half Gilchin scored his second goal of the match to seal a 3-1 aggregate victory, ensuring they advanced to round two in the AFC qualifying section whilst Sri Lanka were eliminated. In qualifying for the second phase of the competition, Bhutan were guaranteed at least a place in the playoff round for the 2019 AFC Asian Cup. For the next stage, Bhutan were drawn in Group C, along with China, Qatar, Hong Kong, and the Maldives, all sides ranked higher than Sri Lanka in the FIFA rankings. Against these much stronger teams, their results were not as successful. In their first game, they lost 7-0 against Hong Kong in the Mong Kok Stadium, and then 6-0 less than a week later against China at Changlamithang, the first time despite their lowly ranking that Bhutan had been beaten at home in an official international match. Results got worse still in the following match as they lost 15-0 to Qatar, their heaviest defeat since their then world record 20-0 loss to Kuwait in 2000. The next two matches saw an improvement in their fortunes. Though both were lost, the scorelines were much more narrow. Firstly a 4-3 home defeat to the Maldives, in which Bhutan showed a spirited display to come back from 4-0 down in the final five minutes. At half-time in the match, following a disagreement with team manager Hishi Tshering, coach Norio Sukatate was sacked, his rigid methodology having created significant friction between himself and the overall team management. Secondly a 1-0 home loss to Hong Kong, the winning goal coming in the penultimate minute of the match for the visitors. This was a result that pleased the Bhutan Football Federation so much that they awarded all of the players involved in the match a new 25,000 bonus to reflect their brilliant performance. However the improvement in their performances was not to last and a visit to China resulted in a 12-0 loss, and a home match against Qatar another loss, this time 3-0. Following their World Cup qualifying attempt, Bhutan entered the 11th SAF Championship, held in India between 23 December 2015 and 3 January 2016. Originally scheduled to take place in July 2015, the monsoon season and schedule congestion led to the tournament being postponed to late December. Their performance was identical to their efforts in the last four tournaments as the team lost all three group games beginning with a 3-2-1 defeat to the Maldives, Tshering Dorji scoring for Bhutan after 20 minutes, and followed by two 3-0 losses to Afghanistan and Bangladesh to be eliminated from the competition. Prior to their last qualifying match, the national team visited Thailand where they played two back-to-back charity-friendly matches against reigning Thai League T1 champions Bariram United. Although they were playing against a club side rather than a fellow national team, Bhutan were soundly beaten in both matches, firstly 6-0 and then 9-0 in a rematch the following day, with Bariram's new signing Wesley scoring five times across the two matches. A final 4-2 defeat against the Maldives in Malay confirmed Bhutan's last place finish in their group with a minus 47 goal difference and extending their losing run in official competition to 12 games. Topic: 2019 AFC Asian Cup qualification. Bar the initial victories over Sri Lanka, one of the few positives to be taken from their inaugural World Cup qualifying campaign was that their presence in the second round guaranteed their qualification for the qualifying playoff round of the 2019 AFC Asian Cup. Two rounds of playoff matches were played to determine the final eight qualifiers for the third round. The draw was made on 7 April 2016, at the AFC House in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The first round of matches were played between 2 and 7 June 2016 and the second round of matches between 6 September and of October 2016. As the lowest ranked of all the teams taking part in the playoff round, Bhutan entered in round 2, where they were drawn against Bangladesh. The first match was played on 6 September, with the second leg played on of October 2016. Bhutan drew the first leg 0-0, breaking a 12-match losing streak in official matches and a 15-match losing streak in total. Bhutan ended up winning the second match 3-1, giving them a 3-1 advantage on aggregate and enabling them to advance to round 3 of the Asian Cup qualification. 
Bhutan were drawn on the 23rd of January 2017 with Maldives, Palestine and Oman. The draw was moved from the 18th of January. The Bhutanese were eliminated from contention after four straight losses, especially a 10-0 road loss to Palestine. Topic: <laughs> Team image. Topic: <laughs> Colors. Bataan's current home colors are orange shirts with yellow trim and a yellow dragon motif, orange shorts and orange socks. Their away colors is predominantly white with orange trim on the shirt and shorts and an orange dragon motif. Both their home and away colors are so closely aligned to the national colors and pattern of the flag of Bhutan that they essentially mirror it. The current manufacturer of the national colors is Ego Sport. There are three main themes contained within Bhutan's home colors, all of which have wider symbolism within the nation as outlined in the constitution of Bhutan. Firstly, the use of orange signifies Buddhist spiritual tradition, particularly the Drukpa Kagyu and Nyingma schools. Secondly, the use of yellow in the trim and also as the color of the dragon motif signifies civil tradition and temporal authority as embodied in the Druk Galpo, the dragon king of Bhutan, whose royal garb traditionally includes a yellow kabni scarf. Finally, the dragon motif employed is the Druk Zonka, the thunder dragon of Bhutanese mythology and a Bhutanese national symbol, though the dragon depicted in the team's colors does not hold the jewels representing wealth that are found on the national flag, though the similar snarling mouth of the dragon symbolizes the Bhutanese deity's commitment to the defense of Bhutan, the orange theme and that of the dragon motif noted above are carried over into the away colors. Additionally, the predominant white theme mirrors the color of the dragon on the national flag which signifies the purity of inner thoughts and deeds that unite all the ethnically and linguistically diverse peoples of Bhutan. <laughs> Kit history Home Away Logo <laughs> <laughs> The logo of the national team is identical to that used for its governing body, the Bhutan Football Federation. It consists of a football surrounded by two concentric circles, one yellow, one orange, representing the Dragon King of Bhutan and the Buddhist tradition in the country, overlaid on a Himalayan blue poppy the national flower of Bhutan. Below this is a wish-fulfilling jewel, similar to that located at the top of the official emblem of Bhutan. Topic. Home stadium Changlimathang Stadium is a multipurpose stadium in Tempu, Bhutan, which serves as the national stadium. It is predominantly used for football matches and is the home of both the Bhutan national football team and a number of Tempu-based football clubs who play in both the A division and the National League. In addition to football, the stadium also regularly plays host to major archery tournaments, the national sport of Bhutan. The stadium was initially constructed in 1974 for the coronation of the fourth Druk Galpo, Jigma Singyi Wangchuk, but was completely refurbished in 2007 in advance of the coronation of the fifth Druk Galpo, Jigma Kasar Namyal Wangchuk. Floodlighting was added to the football pitch in 2009 and an artificial pitch was laid in 2012 to coincide with the start of the first season of the National League. Unusually for a national stadium, and as a result of the conversion of the playing surface to artificial turf, the football field at Changlimathang is available for public hire and is extremely popular with people in Tempu. Players Current squad The following players have been called up to the squad for 2018 SAF Championship. Caps and goals updated as of 4 September 2018 after the match against Bangladesh. Caps and goals updated as of 4 September 2018, after the match against Bangladesh. Recent call-ups The following players have also been called up to the Bhutan squad within the last 12 months.
Note, Rhett retired from the national team. Recent results and upcoming fixtures Topic twenty seventeen. Topic twenty eighteen. Topic Rankings. Topic FIFA. Prior to the victories over Sri Lanka, their highest FIFA ranking achieved was 187th, which they last reached in December 2008 following their semi-final performance in the 2008 SAF Championship. From that high point, they slipped down the rankings to last place in December 2012 to join San Marino and the Turks and Caicos Islands in 207. They fell to 208th place following the admission to FIFA of South Sudan in July 2014, and dropped to 209th as the only team without ranking points following San Marino's draw with Estonia. However, Bhutan rose to 163rd on the FIFA rankings after two victories over Sri Lanka in World Cup qualifying, achieving their highest ranking ever in April 2015. They then rose to 156th in June 2015. However, following their performance in the second round of World Cup qualifying in which they have failed to win a game, they slipped back to 193rd as of February, but have since risen to 185th as of November 2017. Topic: <laughs> LO ratings. The team is also ranked extremely low on the all-time ELO ratings at 227th out of 234 as of December 2017. There is one FIFA-affiliated team ranked below them, American Samoa. Their initial comparatively high position in the 1980s was more to do with the number of nations competing globally at the time than their specific performances. Since they have started competing with a degree of regularity on the continental scene, Bhutan have always hovered at or near the bottom of the ratings. Their high point in the 21st century was 218th as a result of their performance at the 2008 SAF Championship. Topic: <laughs> Competitive record. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> FIFA World Cup. Bhutan attempted to qualify for the FIFA World Cup for the first time in 2015. Drawn against Sri Lanka, they produced a shock result over the two legs of the first round to progress to the next round. They were drawn in Group C of the second round, but were unable to progress to the next stage. AFC Asian Cup Prior to 2015, Bhutan had only attempted to qualify for the AFC Asian Cup on two occasions, both of which ended unsuccessfully. In their first attempt, they lost all of their matches, including a then-world record 20-0 defeat to Kuwait. They were marginally more successful in the next iteration. Qualifying was divided into two stages. Bhutan hosted their group in the preliminary stage, finishing in first place after a 0-0 draw with Mongolia and a 6-0 victory over Guam, a result that is still a record win for the nation. However, progressing to the second stage, they lost all six of their games and failed to progress to the competition proper. For the 2019 AFC Asian Cup, the qualifying rounds for the 2018 FIFA World Cup were used as the first two stages of qualifying for this competition. Bhutan were eliminated in the second round of World Cup qualifying and entered the playoff round where they were drawn against Bangladesh. Bhutan beat them 3-1 over two legs to progress to the third round of qualifying for the first time. They were unsuccessful in the third round. Asterisk, 2019 qualification campaign also included qualifying matches from the Asian section of the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification. In 2014, a proposal to merge the preliminary qualification rounds of the FIFA World Cup with those of the AFC Asian Cup was ratified by the AFC Competitions Committee. The new qualification structure took place in three stages, with the first two merging with the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification.
Topic: <laughs> AFC Challenge Cup. Bhutan had a dismal record in the AFC Challenge Cup. Not only have they never qualified for the competition, but they have only managed a single draw, 1 to 1 against Brunei during the 2008 qualifying campaign. In addition, this is the only match in which they have ever managed to score. The Challenge Cup was discontinued by the AFC, with all nations now entering qualifying for the Asian Cup due to the expansion of the Asian Cup to the 24-nation format from the 16-nation one after the 2015 edition. South Asian Football Federation Cup Bhutan have an almost equally poor record in the South Asian Football Federation Cup. Only once have they managed to make it out of the group stage of the competition, with this being the only time they have managed to achieve any form of positive result. Asterisk denotes draws includes knockout matches decided on penalty kicks. Red border indicates that the tournament was hosted on home soil. Gold, silver, bronze backgrounds indicates first, second and third finishes respectively. Bold text indicates best finish in tournament. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International opponents. Last match updated Oman on the 15th of November 2017. NB unofficial matches includes ANFA Cup matches against teams other than the official Nepal national team, four friendly matches against Tibet and Bangladesh, and two charity matches against Bariram United. Asterisk includes unofficial matches in the 1986 ANFA Cup against Hong Kong Gurkhas and Nepal Youth, which sources indicate were drawn, but for which no score is available. The results are included here statistically as 0 to 0 for the purpose of completeness. Topic: Honors. South Asian Football Federation Cup. 4th place 1 2008. Topic: Coaches. Statistics correct as of the 28th of March 2017 key P games played W games won D games drawn L games lost percent win percentage one coached in an interim capacity Topic See also Bhutan women's national football team Bhutan national under 23 football team Bhutan National Under-19 Football Team Bhutan National Under-17 Football Team Bhutan National Futsal Team